My name is Kumran Adesan. I'm the co-founder and deputy chairman of the 369 Global Group of Companies that's based here in Ontario, Canada. Um, what professional experiences have shaped my journey prior to entering the private sector, which is more recent, uh, since 2021. I worked for many years in, the, in, in government, uh, in the Ontario Public Service, uh, where I held a, a series of different senior roles in different ministries uh, in the government of Ontario, across different areas, program management, strategy, business development, marketing and comms. And I, and I think the biggest learning from 15 years of doing that uh, is the ability to think uh, very laterally um, um, in terms of different ways of looking at an issue, um, having different perspectives in the room, um, and to be able to also think about um, multi-sectorally, how do we approach uh, uh, at a common, uh, common solution. So I think those things have really uh, helped me a great deal to transition from the public service into the private sector. And, uh, and I'm finding that, um, that that training in the public service is really helping me do what I need to be doing at 369 Global. Uh, and I think the results uh, are speaking for themselves. I believe the Canadian Tamils Chamber of Commerce to be an incredibly important organization in our community. Um, I think it's been around for close to 40 years now, and, and that is a, a, a very challenging thing in itself to kind of keep, a, keep an organization going for that long and to be able to do it in the way that uh, the Chamber has done is, is incredible. And, and uh, kudos to, to, uh, to all the presidents and the leadership teams that have come and gone uh, and that continue to uh, grow uh, the Chamber. Uh, we at 369 Global Group of Companies and prior to that through Computech College specifically have been members of the Chamber for at least a decade uh, now and, uh, and the reason was quite simple. I think it is the premier business organization uh, for the Canadian Tamil diaspora um, and it's, uh, it's doing some incredible work in terms of uh, motivating and influencing uh, how businesses in our community think about the value that we're creating here in Canada both uh, financial and otherwise, and, and to help really incubate um, other businesses in the community which, which serves us all. So uh, the decision was quite quite obvious for us that we need to be a part of Chamber. Um, and, and I think in terms of the value that we've gotten, I think, uh, you know, there is not always necessarily a direct correlation between uh, the businesses that we are in and, and really, I suppose, uh, the Chamber's mandate necessarily. But, but I think being a part of a community of, of business owners and, and professionals who who are thinking, I believe, uh, in, in a deep way in terms of what is the future of uh, the economic potential of of Canadian Tamils and the kind of um, the kind of uh, uh, decisions that we need to make to be able to keep growing that. Uh, I think we wanted to be a part of that decision making and be a part, be at that table. So so for us, uh, the value is in the relationships we found in the chamber. In, in the in 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 especially having uh, uh, the presidents, at least certainly in my time at Three Six One Global, presidents and executives who are always willing to listen to uh, uh, member input, um, and especially as as diamond sponsors, uh, we feel that uh, we are not they're not just listening to us because we're diamond sponsors because I think they really do think that. Uh, we are creating value uh, as, as a diamond sponsor in, in terms of our own experiences and in terms of the track record that we have in business. And, and I think, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great way for us to, to be able to shape, uh, you know, what, what, not, what comes next uh, economically and, and business-wise uh, for the Canadian Tamil community. And I see the Chamber continuing to be the lead player in that space for many, many years to come. You know, corporate social responsibility or ESG or philanthropy is, is such a core value for us here at 369 Global. And, and I think it was one of those early things that drew me to the group. Um, I think I'm very lucky to have a co-founder and a business partner in somebody like Murali Sri Narayanadas, who's the executive chairman, because Murali and my own relationship and our friendship really began uh, doing um, social work together. Uh, we were actually part of, uh, we are still part of an organization called Comduit, which I co-founded in 2014, which does uh, incredibly important sustainable development work uh, in the north and east and central parts of Sri Lanka for our people. And, and, uh, and inviting Murali to join the board, I think, was an important turning point for me because it gave me a sense of wanting to understand 
who this person was and for him to understand how I operated. And, and we quickly realized that, you know, we have our own different journeys as many of us do, but, but underlying that were very critical but common values around uh, the future that we see for our people, uh, both in Canada, but especially also at home. Um, and I think that um, coupled with his many years of, you know, philanthropy generally, and also the work that I've done just generally in, in the greater Toronto area with other communities, it was just a, a good mesh of values and, and personalities. And I think we're very blessed, both Murli and I, to have an organization of over 100 people who believe in those values as well. And so as a result of that, you know, 369 Global has really, I think, done its part in, in trying to um, make sure that we're building sustainable um, solutions for our communities in Canada, as well as back home, and not just the Tamil community. I think just broadly what we need to be doing as, as Canadians, as, as, as global citizens, uh, to make sure that as we rise, we are helping others rise with us. So whether it's the Tamil Community Center or, or um, the Tamil Youth Fellowship, or um, different kinds of uh, um, you know great initiatives that exist in our community, we we are there um, and we will continue to be there for good efforts that help build ultimately. And this is going to be a core core theme: build capacity of the Canadian Tamil community in every single facet of our public and personal lives. And and we are here to work hand in hand with anyone who believes in that mission. Thank you. Relationships are so critical to business. I think every single uh, business person worth their salt will know that relationships fundamentally is what business is all about. Uh, and sometimes there are smarter people in the room or there are people um, that have uh, different experiences, but what binds you are relationships. And that's what really paves the way for great things to happen uh, is, is my uh, firm belief. Uh, to that end, uh, 369 Global, uh, uh, you know, we value collaborations um, uh, both in Canada and abroad. We're able to have a, a, a larger footprint, I think, than our size would allow us because of the strength of our relationships, whether that is in business, whether that's in the public sector, or that's in the not-for-profit sector. And we've built track records in all three sectors to show, uh, show the work. Um, I think the, one of the exciting things for us in 369 Global right now, and we're really getting into that mandate now, is more and more how do we think about cross-sectoral partnerships that address major problems that face us in the world today. Uh, certainly, we are based in Canada, and this is for the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce. So when we look at issues that impact Tamil Canadians or Canadians just generally, whether that is the housing crisis, whether that is the employment crisis, whether that's the need for more immigration to come to the country, we are able to have a greater degree of conversations because of the relationships that we've built. Um, and an example of that is uh, in, the, in the space of uh, skills development training and workforce development. Uh, we were very uh, lucky, I think, uh, to get into um, uh, partnerships with, with regional governments in Ontario, with the provincial government, to be able to train uh, people for good jobs in healthcare and technology in Ontario. So that is an example, like for example, we entered into a partnership with the town of Ajax, uh, with a not-for-profit organization called Skills for Change. We have a lot more partnership announcements coming up in 2024. And, and, and so, yeah, I think collaboration and partnership is, is, is at the core of, of what businesses need to think about, um, especially from a, not from just a profitability perspective, but from a scalability perspective and ultimately the value creation and our purpose as to why we're doing the businesses that we're doing. So yeah, collaboration is king and queen. <laughs> Great question. And I think this is probably the best question I've heard so far. Uh, and the reason I say that is there is so much promise and potential that our young people have, um, especially young Canadian Tamils in the diaspora. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I, I say to my generation, and I won't mention my age, but I tell my generation that we're experiencing a golden age in terms of our identity. I think I see young people in our community, you know, asking very thoughtful, deep questions about who they are, what their values are, and what eventually their contributions are going to be to Canada, to the world, and to their own personal families and so on. So the only advice I would give to young people uh, there are a couple of things, and I think the, the greys in my beard give me the right to give some advice. 
uh, a couple of things. So, so one is um, never say no to an opportunity. Uh, because, you know, there's a great quote by Steve Jobs, and I mentioned this in other interviews, you can only connect the dots looking backwards. Um, so sometimes things happen in our life, and we're not quite sure why we find ourselves in a room recording some person we don't even know about. But when we look back, that might lead to something else, and that might lead to something else. So in the end, and this is a great, you know, beautiful law of the universe, that the dots eventually connect, as long as you stay open psychologically, emotionally, intellectually, to the possibilities that exist before you. So first piece of advice to young professionals, stay open to all opportunities. Every opportunity has many opportunities hidden within it. That's one. The second is, and this is something that Murali and I, we actually talk about this quite a lot, um, is the understanding that the world is going to be an increasingly small place. We're going through a particular period of time right now where there is a sense of people going back into their national identities, into their borders and so on. But what is always going to be top of mind is for people to think um, as one global village, for us to think beyond our immediate boundaries, to think uh, across national borders, to look at problems at a global scale, because whether it's climate change or housing or the economy or the or future of, of work, these are global challenges. So the, the second piece, if I can say it simply, is for young people to seek out opportunities to become global thinkers and global doers and to really spend the time to not get stuck in one sector, but to really get some experience in multiple sectors. There is a tendency, I think, maybe the only critique that I have is sometimes we don't give something enough time before we want to move on. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to be stuck in a sector, but I think, and I, this is just personal experience, the fact that I was in government, the fact that even longer than government, I've been actively working in the community with different organizations in the not-for-profit sector for 25 years, in, and now in the private sector, there are different tools in different sectors. So the more and more you, you equip yourself with those different tools, you are going to be a player that cannot be ignored, whether that is in corporate Canada, whether that is in Charity, Charity Canada or that, whether that's in the government of Canada. Multilateral thinkers who can think cross-sectorally at an issue and bring different perspectives and different tools to a problem, those people are the people you're going to find at the head of every single institution in Canada and in around the world in the next five years. So for young Tamil people, we already have a head start because we are a global diaspora. There is a way in which we can pick up the phone and find somebody in Melbourne or in London or in Paris or in Durban or in Jaffna, and you can get opportunities to go and travel to those places, meet up with people, understand what they're doing. So go out there, travel, get multi-sectoral experience, get multinational experience, because that is going to keep you very competitive in the market and in business for a very long time to come.